Hey everybody, so it's Garrett and Katie. We are back for day 50 of 100 blends in 100 days. Made it halfway through. And today, Katie is doing Mac Barron's H H Old Dark Fired for the very first time. She has the bowl packed and uh, she's reading the reviews and she's going to read it to you so you guys can watch her face as she goes through this. Yeah, no, that's... I, I stand by my initial impression. That's like scrubbing dried up barbecue sauce out of a plate in the sink. Is what that smells like. It don't taste that good. <laughs> like... Seasoned up, dried up barbecue sauce. <laughs> Alright. A bold flake of dark-fired burleys in a well-balanced unity with flu-cured Virginias. This flake is hot-pressed, meaning that during the pressing, heat is added by steam to the tobaccos, which causes the tobacco to intensify the marrying process, giving us a bolder tobacco. Oh, joy. The robust, earthy flavor of the dark-fired burleys shines through in the taste, and you will experience a deeply satisfying smoke indeed. Special notes. One of the most fascinating parts about this tobacco that will be sure to confuse a lot of American pipe smokers is that despite the, despite the fact that H and H Old Dark Fired contains zero Latakia, Mac Barron still considers it an English because of the method used in its production, specifically the hot press, which presses the tobacco under high heat. All right. Somehow it has 3.7 out of four stars. Jim Inks uh, gives it a four. Before you go on, the steam pressing, mm -hmm. that is um, part of the process that they use to make Cornell and Deal's uh, Steamworks mm -hmm. that they released last year and this year. Fun. This year being 2024, and for some reason, if you're watching this 10 years later on YouTube, pro I don't know if it's still happening at that point. Mm -hmm. Go on. Do you want me to read Jim's too, or just go for it? I'll read it while you light up. Oh, joy. I'll smoke my barbecue sauce. <clears throat> my thoughts on this blend are similar to what I had to say about the flake version. With a couple of exceptions. While this is easier to pack because it's a ready rub tobacco, it seemed to me that the Burley and Dark Fired Kentucky are slightly less stronger than it is in the flake version. And it may be that tobacco slightly changed because more of it's exposed to air and the processing of it. The difference is minor, but I did notice it. Here's my original review of the flake version. It's a little closer to medium than strong in regard to strength and taste. <laughs> and that observation depends on how used, how used to strong tobaccos is the smoker. The main component is earthy, woody, floral, spicy, fairly dry, herbal, mildly tart and tangy, sour, nutty, dark, fired Kentucky. Yes, Jim, you have a thesaurus. Earthy, nutty, woody, burleys, and earthy, woody, tangy, dark, fruity, tart, and tangy, citrus, sweet, Virginia's work, <coughs> work are secondary stars. That's not a retro hail one. <laughs> that is not one for your nose. <laughs> <laughs> The natural sweetness of the varietals are enhanced by being steam pressed. There is a mild vinegar and barbecue hint from the binder. Mild! The harmonious complexity of the flavor works to its advantage in terms of its effect on your taste buds. There may be some flakes that are more complex, but not by a whole lot. And this gives you plenty enough as it won't bite, has very few rough edges. It burns clean and a little slow. I need more beer. <laughs> Just tinned at the perfect moisture level with a medium neck hit that gets a little stronger as you smoke along. I call bullshit. I, I stumbled after my first bowl of this. I stood up and I almost fell to the ground. It requires some relights. I recommend a slow puffing cadence for best effect has a pleasant, lingering campfire aftertaste and a stronger room note. Definitely not an all-day smoke. <laughs> Last line. There are stronger tobaccos 
This is not too strong to knock you off your feet, but certainly not weak. I want to party with Jim Inks. <laughs> you want some? No, I want you. I want to see you finish this whole thing. I'm so glad I didn't pack a whole tiny bowl. I don't think I'm a fan. That's why it's going on your wheel of pain. I already knew that. No, I shouldn't have to smoke this again. Yeah. That is just dark, dark barbecued campfire. <clears throat> now, mind you, in about two years, a lot of that campfire mellows out. Uh -huh. And it becomes this thing that everybody's talking about. I could see this mellowing out to be possibly pleasant. It's hard to imagine that from right here. I'm not saying from watching, from me watching you, but like knowing what it tastes like <laughs> fresh, like it is. This is the the bulk H and H Old Dark fired. Your eyes are watering. It's it more palatable. A little bit. But I need more beer. My beer, is, right. my beer is gone. The rum is gone. No, I'll, not right this moment. I'll get a beer. You smoke. <laughs> not right this moment. This will be a longer one for everyone. We hope we hope you all are having a fantastic day. I think you should try this with a cup of coffee. Just black coffee? I don't even like coffee, just straight black. A little, a little bit of creamer. Just need some creamer. <laughs> some something. Holy shit. Oh. That is strong. Strong and dark. How do you feel about that bluegrass now? I love that bluegrass <laughs> now. Man, that, that's a fantastic light, lovely blend right there. <laughs> this is not my favorite. No. I will not be reaching for this again. <clears throat> Thank you. For the beer or? For the beer. Or are you done? I don't think you're done yet. I'd like to be. That little Peterson has a deceptively deep bowl. I'd like to be done. No, thank you. If that is your cup of tea, more power to you. I, I feel like I have a very, very weak, sensitive, pansy lady palate after this. Holy cow. Wheel of pain is going to be fun. Fun. You agreed to that. I did. Whole bowls of each no, item. No, I never said whole bowls. You can use little pipes. I, mean, I guess you, you do have to get at least most of the way through. <clears throat> Give it a chance. I feel like I've given this enough of a chance. Maybe we'll get a fresh round of those little pirate poker cups that I had. Just so you can have a fresh cob for each one and there's no holdover from one flavor to the next. Nope. Nope. It doesn't get better. <laughs> it doesn't get better. <laughs> it doesn't get better. Uh, it doesn't get better. <coughs> Guys, we try I'm to... I'm no quitter, damn it. We try to avoid dead air, but I can't help but watch this. Because this is the first time she's really tried it. I'm pretty sure you gave me a puff of this at one point and I like shoved it away from me and was like, what the fuck did you just get me? Whoops. I'm not I didn't edit mine out last time. I'm not editing yours. Mike sure is gonna put money in the in the cuss drawer. Crap. Well, don't come around when the camera's off then. We'll go broke filling that cuss jar. I told him mine's full. See, that's the key to the cuss jar, is if you get a small one and you fill it up, <laughs> is that how that it's goes? done. Once you fill it up, it's done? Does that mean you're done cussing or you're done paying? 
I mean, if it falls back out of the jar, I think you can use it again later. <laughs> I do not have full dark fired in my in my pipe. Yeah, you wouldn't do that, huh? Do you like this one? When it has two years of age on it, I do. So is this uh is this going deep into the cellar then? You gonna vacuum seal that sucker and put it away? I'm gonna get another Four two ounces eight. to fill it. And then I might put it away. Or I might save it for new pipe smokers who You want to torture? Like my brother. <sighs> my little brother is really enjoying um creme brulee oh. right now. And he's like, I smoke that every day. I want it's, some creme brulee. It's, it's so good. And I said, oh, I have so many other things to show you. No, it does not get better. It's consistent the whole way through. It sure is. Consistent is the same, like... Beginning to end, it is the same tobacco. I don't know how YouTube feels about you drinking a beer on camera, but whatever. Mm. Not like we're ever going to get paid for this. Mm. It helps. I feel like whiskey. Ooh, whiskey. This might actually go kind of good with some whiskey. I am not usually a, a straight... You got that Jameson orange. We don't have a whole lot of whiskey. We got, we got Fireball, Rum, Jameson orange. Oh, and... Uh, the, the Gentleman Jack. No, thank you. I thought that was being given away. It is, but we have it right now. No, get it out of the house. And this out of the house. We do not enjoy Gentleman Jack. No. Biggest waste of $40 I ever spent. I think I'd get more out of that than this. <laughs> That's saying something. That's only half a bowl compared to what I was smoking that out of. Not even. Like a quarter compared to your bowls. Alright. Not so much a fan. Nope. Alright. All right. So out of ten? Two. Two, huh? I mean, it's smokable. If I really I, wanted something. I think if I needed if, something to, to wash the whiskey down. I think you need to give it an accurate score based on what you knew was coming from the description. Yeah, I'm not reaching for that again. It burns. I'll, it, you can stick it in the pipe and burn it, but I, I will not reach for that again. Does it taste like putting your face up next to the campfire? <laughs> no, I prefer that. I, I'd prefer to, to be downwind of the campfire, for sure. Allergies and all. <laughs> At least my clothes will smell good after that. Well, I give it... I knowing what it, I knew what it was supposed to be. And I think weighing that in and knowing what it's like when it's aged, especially. Um, I, I don't. I give it a six. Well, maybe if you got me some of the aged, how it's supposed to be. But that, I, no thank I, you. I did bring you some, but I was loaded in a pipe, and someone, I was on my way home from Pipe Club, and somebody uh, slammed on their brakes, and I lost the whole bowl onto the floor of the car. Uh, so, you don't get to know that until you come to Pipe Club. If if that gentleman brings it again. As, as soon as kids allow. Can't bring kids to Pipe Club. Somebody's got to stay home. Well, um, I'm not going to torture Katie any further for your anyone's entertainment. Um, not this time, anyway. But a, uh, that was day 50. What a memorable day it was. And uh, hope you guys have a great day. Better than Katie's day is going to be now. That's all right. I'm, I'm going to load up some Colt Blood Red Moon, and, and it'll be great again. If you, oh, I bet I you... I have a bowl of Paladin ready to go. I think that. that yeah. No, that's... that's uh, It's not going to taste the same after you just smoke this. Just Everything's a heads up. better than this. I think I'd rather go smoke actual grass. Wow. From the yard clippings. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. You guys have a good day. And we'll see you for day 51.